Hey you, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's video, we are talking about all the things I stopped buying over the years as a conscious consumer. So if you're interested in these types of videos, keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. The first thing is cotton balls, cotton swabs, uh, cotton rounds, anything to do with removing makeup. I stopped using those types of products. Um, I felt as though that they really just absorbed more of the product instead of putting it on my skin. And now instead of using those products, I like using reusable makeup removers. And I also love using either balm or oil cleansers to remove my makeup in my routine. I find using my hands a lot more is really great when building out my skincare routine. And now that I don't have to use cotton swabs or cotton rounds, I just feel like I'm doing way better for the environment and not being as wasteful. Next on the list is sheet masks. We're all the craze back in like 2015, 2017, and then I just moved away from them completely. I feel like sheet masks are very wasteful. And I think that now that I use maybe wash off masks or even leave on masks, I think that they're just a better option for me. And sometimes if I'm being very honest, I don't even mask at all. In a given month, I would probably do like a mask maybe once a month, if that, because I feel like I have other skincare products that can help with my skin, like targeted spot treatment or maybe something that, like I said, a leave-on moisturizer that's going to do all of the heavy lifting for me. Um, but it doesn't mean that I don't like to wear wash-off masks like once in a while for fun or just to do it to feel like a very spa-like treatment, but it's not something that I use in my day-to-day -day type of routine. Next is tampons and pads. I haven't used tampons or pads in the past five years. I am completely a period panty girl. I think that the brands that I really like are Isles. I like also Riff Care. And then the last brand that I really can vouch for is Salt. Those three brands are my favorite. I have usually a heavier period around the first two days and the last three days it kind of is a lower kind of flow. So for those two days, those period brands, I have never experienced any leaks, no feeling of wetness, any of that. They are so great. I'll leave my affiliate links down below if you're interested in those period panties. And also, if you guys want a more overall review for those period panty brands, let me know. I'd love to make a full-on review for all the ones that I've tried. Next is disposable razors. I don't use disposable razor anymore. Uh, the amount of razors that we waste over the week is crazy and I just don't use them anymore. I use a really great safety razor brand from Leaf. They have what I feel as though is one of the greatest safety razors because the head is actually articulating just like a disposable razor. It does come with the blades that don't create a lot of waste. You can keep maybe like the pack of blades for maybe six months. When you're thinking about that for a disposable brand, you have to replace those disposable razors every week because it's gonna create rusting as well. And it's not really good for your skin. And also, I've also noticed as a person with sensitive skin, those disposable razors are actually not that great for me. I always tended to have more razor bumps and ingrown hairs when I use them. So since I've switched to a safety razor, I don't have that issue. And the next thing kind of along with razors is actually don't buy shaving cream anymore. I There's no problem with just using soap and water or even if you're shaving your legs, just using some conditioner to shave your legs as opposed to buying a completely different product when you have some great things around your house that you can utilize. So another item I actually don't buy is mouthwash. I have stopped buying mouthwash for years. I've, speak, I've spoken to a lot of different dentists, dental hygienists, and they have told me that mouthwash is actually just not necessary. You could use salt and water if you need to gargle your mouth after you floss, and it's not something that you necessarily need. And also a lot of mouthwashes in just our day and age now have a lot of alcohol in it, and your mouth is not an area that you want to make dry. You When you get dry, mouth it's actually not good because you're not able to really produce the saliva that is needed to balance the pH in your mouth and when your mouth is too acidic that is going to cause cavities and you definitely don't want that so I just haven't bought it in forever I use a hydroxy appetite toothpaste. I have two that I like, one from Super Teeth and one from Ojuke that are really great. I feel as though having those particular toothpaste have been really good because they're really great flavors. It's easy for me to use. They foam up. I've never been a fan of toothpaste tabs. I tried. They're just not my jam. So I really like the toothpaste that's they're able to help with sensitivities, dry mouth, and with cavities. So that's the reason why I do not buy mouthwash. 
Another thing that I don't buy is dryer sheets anymore. I have eczema and I find that dryer sheets actually really disrupt my skin barrier and it makes me really itchy and I break into hives. So instead I actually utilize dryer balls that are made of wool and I use uh, three of them in each wash. It's really great because it cuts down on drying time. It's better for the environment. And I feel like it's really good because the clothes actually come out way softer than it would if I was actually using a dryer sheet. The next thing that I don't buy anymore is water bottles. I think that the epidemic of water bottles in the U.S. is really crazy. Ever since I started using a reusable water bottle, my life has changed. I feel like it really does bring in great conversations when you bring it into maybe settings like you're at a friend's house or you're out and about. People always ask and you get to talk to them about why this is better. And here's the kicker. My water bottle is not an aluminum stainless steel water bottle. It's actually made out of plastic, but what's really cool about it is that it has a filter in it. So I get to utilize any type of water, the faucet, like anything, and it filters out the water for me. And I feel like that's a better option because I can just use the tap water and I'm good to go with it. It's changed my life. I absolutely love it. I have a 32 ounce water bottle. It's from Brita. That was actually one of my first sustainable swaps that I made. And this is like a lesson in thinking that you don't have to do the most fanciest thing when you're starting out your journey just start with something that you could do right and i think that people who really understand that sustainability is a journey will get that you don't have to get the most latest like a walla bottle or the um the stanley cups you could just get a cup that is you're going to utilize every single day and for me that is the brita i love it the water tastes yummy like that's a big thing for me i can't stand when water has that really weird aftertaste i've definitely had an uptick in the amount of water that i drink daily so i just can't recommend it enough no more you know ex excessive 32 packs of water just one water bottle that i can reuse every single day next on the list of things that i no longer buy are trendy slash fast fashion brands i have quit fast fashion since probably 2011. So when I entered into college and just got a little bit more of an understanding of what we're doing to the planet and adding more clothes into landfill, I got really into thrifting and understanding all the good things that come out of thrifting or buying in secondhand in general. And it completely changed my life. I really do advocate for buying secondhand. I love Mercari, I love Poshmark, I even love Facebook Marketplace for things that I can barter with other people. I think that, that also kind of brings in community when you do that and you get to know that you're taking it to a good home as opposed to having to go and now have to buy something from a store brand new. So when you think about it too, one of the things that can kind of help people understand the thing about clothes is that every single piece of clothing that you have worn has been touched by human hands. I think it's really important to understand that to take care of your clothes, right? To make sure that you are giving the, the best care to your clothes as you can. And if you are not in love with it anymore, give it to a good home. Don't necessarily just throw it out. I will link down some really great books or videos that you can watch that kind of showcase the importance of rethinking the way that you look at your closet and the way that you look at clothes so you don't have to contribute to putting things into the landfill. So in line with fast fashion, another thing that I don't buy is event wear or very statement pieces anymore. So if I have to be in a wedding, if I am attending like a gala or something, I'm not going out and shelling out 500 to like $1,500 for an evening gown or a dress. I am instead going to rent. I think renting is a great way to still experience a beautiful gown without having to pay a premium price for it. And again, it's better for the environment. You don't have to continue to have something just sit in the back of your closet or the worst thing is to go into landfill. And I really like using Newly. I love Rent the Runway. They are really great. And I will put out in the description some other places that you can rent all over the world that you guys can utilize in terms of renting to not be in a like place to where you're spending so much money on something that you're using for a very short amount of time. The next thing that I no longer buy anymore are minis of anything. So 
Minis are cute, right? They look adorable, but they are so wasteful. I think that they're great for us because we get to try certain things, but I think that the best thing that we can do is maybe go in store to test certain stuff. But when you create minis, it's just very wasteful to the environment instead of just making full size products of things. So I have not bought any minis in probably like five years. And I think that that's something that obviously it's a personal choice. Maybe you want to utilize some minis for travel, but to think about it in a different perspective, instead of buying minis, you can actually go in and decant certain things like your serums, your facial toners, your cleansers, things of that nature. If you're looking for hair care things, there's a really great company called Rees. They make reusable bottles for your shampoo, conditioner. They're actually black owned. I really like them. And they come in really beautiful colors so you can continue to use those things as you travel or if you just want to decant certain things out of a bottle. So that's another option for you as well. Next thing that I don't spend any money on anymore are haircuts. I haven't went to a salon and got my haircut in probably over 10 years. That's just not something that I choose to spend my money on. I know my hair, I know the different textures and areas that need shape ups. And for me, I shape up my hair at least, now I'm trying to do it twice a year because I'm trying to grow my hair out. But I've had just the worst experience with going to salons. I'll ask for a specific cut and to keep length and then they'll chop it off like four or five inches and I'll be like just bawling my eyes out. <laughs> So I've learned my lesson. I don't go to salons anymore and I just, you know, shape up my own hair. I just get really great quality scissors and go in. Um, I cut my hair curl by curl. That's something that I really love doing because it gets, I get to see how my hair is shaped as it's dried. I never cut my hair straight. I haven't actually, that's another thing. I haven't straightened my hair in probably like 15 years. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's something that I don't do. It's just not, it's not something that I can trust a, a, an actual salon to do it. I can't trust a stylist. So I trust myself. I know what my hair looks like and the shape that I want. And yeah, I, I haven't had a bad hair day since. Lastly, the last thing that I no longer spend money on are backups. I used to be one of those consumers that was like, oh, this is on sale. I need to go ahead and buy this because I don't know when it's gonna be on sale again. And I found out over the years that I would just accumulate all those products and then something else would come in and then I would just have five or six products of the same thing. And I, again, as a conscious consumer, just understanding that I don't need all of those things. When I'm out of something, I can replace it. And it's not the end of the world to do that. I think that as a person who is an immigrant, both of my parents are immigrants from Barbados in the Philippines. That was something that I saw a lot growing up. We had stashes of stuff just in case. We didn't know when the next thing was, you know, when we'd be in a crisis of some kind. And that was something that was ingrained in me for a long time. And I am not like that anymore. I do my best to minimize as much waste that I can. And also for me too, it's more of a clutter thing as well. I don't want to continue to see clutter and to have that build in my mind because I get a lot of anxiety. So no more extras or no more backups for me. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Let me know down below what products do you no longer buy? I'd love to continue this conversation down in the comments. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.